Well, my friends, we have some breaking news. It looks like Google is being accused of rigging the vote for Kamala Harris. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. I gotta say, folks, this could be the last election in history. Hey, guys, gals, and pals, Mr. Obvious here. And today, it's election day. The president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. And we're gonna talk about Google, Donald Trump, this election, where we're headed, projected results, and dead squirrels. Yes, as many of you heard, NYC murdered a famous pet squirrel named Peanut, and this has made a lot of people upset. In fact, people have been voting for Trump in a nuts out for Peanut campaign. Now remember to like and subscribe, and let's get to the news. Here on Twitter, oh, I'm sorry, X, right. X. Breaking. Google shows a where to vote section with a map for Kamala Harris, but not for Donald Trump. Google is the biggest corporate donor to the Democratic Party. Okay, so it turns out that if you try to search for search results to find uh, how do I vote for Kamala Harris, it gives you directions to, to the voting booth and the voting areas in your location. However, if you try the same thing for Donald Trump, it doesn't show you a map. People are saying that Google is trying to put its fingers on the scale and uh, essentially interfere with the election. So you can see here in the video, it says, where can I vote for Harris? And it shows, uh, it shows a map to the directions. Where can I vote for Trump? And all it shows is news stories. Now, it's important to note that Google did put out a statement saying that this is a glitch. Here you can see on therap.com, Google says fix is coming for search engine feature, showing map directions for where to vote for Harris, but not for Trump. Um, this was posted about by Elon Musk on X, and I assume Google panicked and were like, oh, it's just, it's just a glitch, guys. And his last words after the gunshots were, it's just a prank, bro, as he was dying and crying. And those were most likely some of his last words that is some of the saddest shit. You couldn't write a more poetically pitiful conclusion. We're gonna fix it. Now, the reason I'm talking about this story is because I think we know for a fact that Google is a very biased uh, company. <laughs> it is people who really don't like Donald Trump. And now Breitbart releasing this 2016 video we're gonna show you of a Google meeting following the election of Donald Trump. Watch. I certainly find the selection uh, deeply offensive, and I know many of you do too. It did feel like a ton of bricks dropped on my chest. So what we all need right now is a hug. Can I move to Canada? <laughs> is there anything positive you see from this election result? <laughs> Oof. Uh, boy, that's so Google obviously has a long history of bias against Republicans and conservatives and Donald Trump. This is uh, this is so obvious to anybody who knows anything about this this kind of thing. And I do find it very funny how every time we see something like this, where oh my God, the the search engine or the the social media website like Facebook, they have only positive stories for Kamala Harris or Democrats one side of the politics or really negative stories about Trump and about conservatives. Obviously, there has been a lot of accusations of bias. What I'm trying to say is they always say that it was just a glitch. <laughs> so why do all the glitches only go in one direction, right? So I don't really buy that explanation. I don't think that this was a glitch. I think that Google is biased. I think that their search algorithms are biased. They're pro-Democrat. They're anti-conservative. So the reason stuff like this happens is because the Google search engine algorithm, the AI, is going to help and be positive towards Democrats and people like Kamala Harris. And it's going to be negative against Donald Trump and conservatives. But as of right now, because I did try it this morning and it was in fact glitched, it seems that they have changed this, so I guess the quote-unquote glitch has been fixed. Moving on. In another shocking news story, millions of people are outraged after New York City broke into a man's house, stole his pet squirrel and raccoon, and murdered them. 
Yes, my friends, Peanut the Squirrel was euthanized by New York City. And what many people are calling an absolute travesty, a total injustice, and um, it's funnily enough become a huge movement. You even have the New York Times declaring that the death of a celebrity squirrel has become a Republican rallying cry. For Peanut. Yeah, so for those of you who are not in the loop, I'll explain. Peanut the Squirrel was a famous rescued squirrel. The owner of the squirrel had found it um, lying by its dead mother when it was just a baby. He took it home, he fed it, he raised it, and in that time, Peanut the Squirrel became Instagram famous. For seven long years, his owner had posted tons of cute videos of Peanut the Squirrel. He was highly trained, highly intelligent, and um, just a good little squirrel. Well... The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation officers broke into his house, no knock warrant, slammed the door down, came in, grabbed his raccoon, grabbed the squirrel, and they killed them. They murdered them, they euthanized them because of so-called anonymous complaints. We're gonna talk more about those complaints, by the way, because uh, 4chan actually found out who the person who got the squirrel killed was. Now this happened in Mark Longo in Pine City in New York State. And um, here's why this story is so tragic and why it's like making a lot of people go out to vote for Trump. Number one, um, Peanut the Squirrel had become famous and his owner had started a charity to take care of you know, animals who are hurt, uh, basically a rescue animal charity. And they had several animals on the property. Peanut being their mascot and kind of like the uh, poster boy for their charity, taking care of sick and struggling animals. Well, DEC agents said, um, you're not allowed to have a pet. This is a Democrat state. We will break down your doors, come in, steal your pet, and then murder them. Now they said that the squirrel had bit uh, an officer and that's why they had to euthanize the squirrel to test for rabies. Now this is absolutely ridiculous because there's never actually been a single verified case of squirrels having rabies or squirrels giving humans rabies in human history. That's right folks, a squirrel has never given a human rabies. So they basically killed him for no reason. Now this has been causing a lot of people online to basically come out and say, justice for the squirrel, justice for Peanut, nuts out for Peanuts, go and vote for Donald Trump. And I do find it funny that the squirrel has become like this, uh, this right wing uh, uh, rallying call, because I think that most normal people think that killing pets is bad. But I think this is a good example of like Democrats and blue states. Because we know that New York City is run by Democrats. It's a Democrat state. It's a blue state. It is a Kamala Harris people. Well, apparently, if you vote for Kamala Harris, the government's gonna come in and they're gonna murder your pets. Oh, your squirrel was right wing? We're gonna, we're gonna take him out. I wish that was a joke, but it's not. But this is the kind of government overreach that conservatives and like libertarians, even classical liberals are against. And this is why many people are voting for Donald Trump. Now, regarding the woman being accused of reporting the squirrel, I want to point out that, um, well, number one, this is public information. Tons of news stories have already come out basically talking about this Texas woman who apparently reported Peanut the Squirrel to DEC in New York City. And people are claiming she's the one that sent in the complaints and that she bragged on like social media that she was the one who called the squirrel. Many people are saying, oh, this is just another Karen getting the poor little cute pets killed. It's a little bit strange because apparently this person lives in Texas of all places. So it's it's really strange. Uh, 4chan is very angry. People online are very angry and she's deleted all of her social media posts. And uh, a lot of people are not happy. Now, of course, I want to say, uh, do not harass this person. Do not go near this person. Just uh, that's a matter for the law system to uh, handle. Don't get into that mess. We don't need any of this. Right now we have bigger problems, but I do think that it's worth mentioning that this is a rumor. Uh, this is what's happening. Apparently the tipster is a Texas woman, but we don't know for sure. I wanted to make sure that was very clear. Again, uh, do not harass this person, uh, leave them alone. But um, I will say like, as much as I wanna say, like as much as I can say that and tell people to, you know, not do anything crazy, 
A lot of people are mad at this, and not just people on the right. It's not just conservatives, it's not just Republicans, it's not just Trump supporters. A lot of people are mad about this pet squirrel being killed. So I would not want to be in this person's shoes, but um, I thought it was worth mentioning. All right, there you go. There's, uh, there's your PSA for the day. Very sad story. Nuts out for Peanut. You know, <laughs> first it was Harambe, and now it's justice for Peanut, justice for this little squirrel. But this is what's happening, folks. This is Democrats America. And now moving on, let's talk about the election and the projected results and where we may be and kind of discuss potential predictions. Now, I don't got to be the only one to say that this election is the most important election of our lifetimes. And I do believe I agree with Elon Musk. Elon Musk declared this will be the last election if Kamala Harris wins. Well, I'll say it again, man. Um, I think this was the last election. If, if Trump doesn't win, this is the last election. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think people and a lot of people are waking up and realize that that have been lifelong Democrats, guys like Bill Ackman, guys like Chamath, yeah, exactly. you know, Tulsi Gabbard switched over to the Republicans. Yep. Like there's a lot of people who their whole life they've been left wing and they realize like, I can't do this anymore. You and I used to be Democrats. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. It's nuts, man. And uh, if the Dems win this election, they will legalize enough illegals to turn the swing states and everywhere will be like California. There will be no escape. That is so insane. This is the final, this is it. This is the last chance. This is their last, this is another last chance, bro. How many chances are we on? I mean, oh God, enough. And a lot of people are gonna come out and they're gonna say stuff like, oh, that's, that's hyperbole. That's ridiculous. America will be fine. It's just another four more years. The last four years have been a living nightmare. Housing prices have like doubled. Food prices are up the wazoo. Fast food is no longer affordable. Gas prices. Now, if you're rich, of course you're gonna be like, oh, who cares? <laughs> it's just another four years. The president doesn't matter. Look at the economy. Look at people struggling. Nobody I know in my age group is, is doing well. Money, money, money is the main problem. Nothing is affordable. I miss Donald Trump. I miss Donald Trump's America. It was cheap, it was affordable, it was good. Inflation was down. Housing was down. Well, you know, housing was stable. Now everything is a mess. Now moving on to projected election results. A lot of um, poly market. Poly market is saying that uh, it's about two to one for Trump. People who are betting money on who's gonna win the election are basically saying they expect Trump to win. A lot of people point out that these aren't like actual pollings. They're just pollings of what people think uh, the results are gonna be. So what people are willing to bet on with real money. Now, Nate Silver has basically been going back and forth in his model of who's gonna win the election, saying, oh, it's gonna be Trump, oh, it's gonna be Kamala, it's gonna be Trump. You can see here on his little chart that uh, basically the odds have been going back and forth. And now they're basically in a deadlock. Um, Nate Silver's projecting that Harris has a 50% chance to win, with Trump having a 49.6% chance to win. Basically 50-50. A lot of the news organizations are saying like, oh, Kamala Harris is taking the lead in the projected results. No, it's 50-50. Now I think it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of people are worried about election interference and impropriety. This is a very scary thing. Uh, for example, Pennsylvania is already having uh, polling stations going down causing massive issues with voting. Here we are on X with Right Angle News Network. Numerous reports are indicating that machines are failing to scan ballots, with poll workers stating that ballots will be scanned in later. This is deeply concerning. Um, I don't buy for a second the we'll just scan ballots later excuse, because if you think about it, you know, they could say, oh, the polling machines are down, we can't scan them right now, and then they're gonna get the stack of Kamala votes, they're gonna get the stack of Trump votes, and they're gonna be like, we'll, we'll do it later. And then later on, they could just be like, oh, Kamala, run it through the scanner. Oh, Trump, haha, <laughs> toss that one out. That could easily happen. And a lot of people have been talking about this since the last election. We can't allow people to cheat. It's really that simple. If the elections aren't secure, if elections aren't trustworthy, then we really don't have a country. We really don't. 
I wish I could say that's the only story about this, but nope, it's happening again. In Northville, Michigan, apparently, voting has been closed down because of a gas leak. Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. But that's pretty much all, folks. I wanted to make this video to talk about what was going on. Uh, by the time you see this video, most likely everyone will have already voted and we'll be seeing the projected results by tomorrow. Uh, this time, we'll probably have some sort of prediction of who's going to win. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think in I think in any fair election, Donald J. Trump wins 100% of the time. The problem is, again, I don't know if our elections are entirely fair. Certainly, we're having all these reports of like voting stations going down, gas leaks and whatever. It's just very concerning. People need to be aware. Know your hotlines, know your numbers. Um, Project Veritas has been like filming at these locations because I think it goes without saying that no matter which side you're on, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, Neither side is going to accept the results of this election. If Trump wins, they'll say, oh, he rigged it, it's illegitimate, didn't win the popular vote, or whatever nonsense. If uh, Kamala wins, well, let's be honest. The Democrats are, uh, th there's a reason that it's a joke that the dead vote Democrat. There's a reason for that. It's because Democrats are very, very willing to use any sort of method to win, whether it is legitimate, whether it is right or wrong, it doesn't really matter because to them, it's just about winning. And I don't agree with that. I think elections should be fair and everyone's vote should matter. There should be no shenanigans, no fortification, just fair and free elections. And isn't that what they call democracy? I love democracy. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed video. Thank you for watching. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I've been focusing on my health, focusing on uh, remedying those issues. I'm not fully out of the water yet, but that's fine. It's a lifelong endeavor. And hopefully I'm gonna be back to making more videos. I'm gonna try to do that. We're not really gonna know these election results for probably a couple weeks anyways, because, you know, they're gonna say, oh, we got these ballots to count, mail-in ballots, whatever. Uh, people from overseas, you know, like veterans have to vote. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, share, subscribe to the channel. Support us on Patreon and Subscribestar. Doing so, we'll give you access to our private and exclusive Discord group, Discord channel called Fight Club. It's members only, so be sure to join. All that down below in the description. Anyways, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And remember, folks, nuts out for peanut.